everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Dougie. Today we're going to do something I like, uh, I think my wife likes it too, but it's called Jaeger schnitzel or pork schnitzel. And the large pork loins that you buy at Costco or Sam's Club, wherever you shop, are what you do it with. Those are really cheap. They're you know, like two bucks a pound. So I've already taken mine and cut it. What I did was I cut all the fat pretty much off of the edge because you don't want that. You don't want a nice clean piece. This is probably a half of an inch thick. Probably weighs four ounces. So what I'm gonna do, I've already pounded one out, but I'm gonna pound the rest of them out. But I'll show you, you gotta be patient. You gotta flip it over, flip it over, keep going. You'll see me, but we'll speed it up. But here I go, and I'll see you on the other side. On the flat side of the hammer, not the other one. Here we go, that little piece is gonna turn out big. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now look at this. You saw what that looked like when we began, but now you can almost see through it. That's the key. So this will be nice and tender. I'm going to prep up all of these pieces and then we'll get into the breading and the sauteing in just a moment. Okay, I pounded out all of the cutlets and separated them. They're really nice and thin. And all we have to do now is season them and bread them and put them into the fryer. So a little salt and pepper. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, it's our three-step process again. Okay, while that one's working, we can prep the next one into the flour. My egg wash is just four eggs and eight ounces of uh, milk. And then all the excess flour, boom, boom. And then right into the breadcrumbs. I had a, started with about two cups of plain breadcrumbs. Push it down for proper breading. This one's about ready to flip. A nice looking cutlet. Okay, we're gonna take this one out now. Once these get into a rhythm like this, it's only taken a minute, maybe a minute and a half to uh, get these things nice and brown. With the proper breading, you can't fail. Okay, gang, I've been busy uh, browning all these up. They're beautiful, just like a, I had in Vienna. I'm on the very last one right now. We're going to put that here. It's soaking on a nice towel to absorb. We'll put it in there on warm in the toaster oven on warm and hold, and then we'll begin to make this braised red cabbage with bacon. It's unbelievable. The beauty here, that's only like maybe three pounds of meat. You could feed a lot of people with that. Great sandwiches the next day. Unbelievable. Okay, now that the cutlets are holding in the oven, let's get started on this uh, braised red uh, sauerkraut here, this cabbage. We've got about a pound of bacon. I've got a bunch of clean scallions. I've got one large onion, one head of red cabbage, and I've got about three tablespoons of sugar and balsamic vinegar, and that's all we're going to need. So I'm going to cut this. Okay, so we're going to get the, the bacon going. We're going to get it close to brown. We'll add the onions and then the uh, red cabbage and braise it on down. And as we get closer, we'll hit it with a little the balsamic vinegar, a little touch of sugar, and then garnish it with green onions at the very end. But let's just watch. Okay, we're browning away. We're starting to get it going. I'm excited about that. Always love the smell of bacon in a house. Especially bacon and a beer. We've got to get the onions ready and the cabbage. So I'm going to get this onion ready to rock. Okay, in with the onions.
in with the cabbage. Okay, so this is a half a head of the red cabbage. Uh, it's filled up my big skillet. I don't know if I'm going to have room for the other half, but this is going to be plenty for us anyway. So we'll just go with it. It's looking lovely. It's going to cook down and get nice and tender. Okay, this is sautéing away. It's looking good. It's still got a ways to go. You're looking about 30 minutes total when you're cooking this dish from start to finish. So you'll see that it, as it progresses that it's really cooking down nice and, and then the vinegar will help break it down at the end. All right, this is moving right along. We're almost ready to add our vinegar. You see, starting to caramelize. Lovely, the onions, the bacon, the cabbage. All right, so as we add as we add a little bit of the vinegar, it doesn't take a whole lot. Stuff goes a long ways. But it'll basically deglaze this, the iron skillet as well a little bit from the bottom, all the pan drippings. See that? We're probably not even a half a cup, probably a third of a cup. And it'll put a rich color into it. and continue to break down the cabbage. Now we'll do a sample. You always want to taste your product, see if it needs salt, see if it needs pepper. We have that sugar on standby if we want to add that. This is our sugar. I put about half of it, about a tablespoon and a half. Always add more. We just want to taste it and see where we're at. Perfect. Okay, the cabbage is done, so all I need to do is garnish it with the green onions. Last thing. We have the Jaeger schnitzel that I'm gonna do a little lemon on that. I've got the braised red cabbage and I've got a summer vegetable salad that I put together with a nice vinaigrette. Something nice and light and good after all this fried stuff, but my gosh, this is really good. Let's give it a taste. Make sure I know what I'm talking about. Not too big a bite. 